Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and today we will be reviewing Transformers, War for Cybertron, Siege, Soundwave, plus his Cassette Patrol Pack, which we got Ravage, and Laserbeak. I want to review this set once I got Laserbeak and Ravage, yeah. Of course, Soundwave comes with this extra gun. I don't like it very much, so it's probably not going to stay on the figure. That's all there is to say for that. And now... I got these two boys off Amazon. So let's take a look at the box artwork, which is really, really good. I love that artwork. Tech specs, if you want to see tech specs. We got the uh, artwork for Soundwave there. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. For that, that's all there is to say. Nice artwork on the front with the Ravage and Laser Beak. And that's all there is to say about that. Really good tech specs, too. They can plug onto his shoulders, but I don't like that. So I'll take that out of the review. And now, let's get down to comparison, shall we? Let's, okay. Here is War for Cybertron Siege Soundwave next to Leader Megatron. Next to Leader Starscream. These are the three War for Cybertron Siege big boys. I'm glad I got around to getting these guys for my collection. So I can find edition. That's all there is to say for this figure. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So we're gonna. Pull off his shoulder cannon, which is a little bit... So then his peg likes to come on loose on me a lot. And the thruster likes to pop loose, too, on this guy. So please understand. I... My very best here. Come on. There we go. That piece likes to be a pain in the neck. It's for that mode. To the secret mode, which is the second vehicle mode. So let's show that off. First, we're going to fold these up. Up. Rotate the chest like so. Flip down the feet. Now what does this remind you of? My fans. Well I know what it reminds me of. For all you War for Cybertron Siege Soundwave fans. For all you Soundwave lovers. Reminds me of his light post mode. From... G1, the first episode of Generation 1. A good representation. And that is the second mode in this figure. We're going to show off the last mode, which is reminiscent to the G1 toy. So we're going to configure it right now. Show off Siege Soundwave. War for Cybertron Siege Soundwave's best mode. His cassette player mode. Which is very, very fun for all you Transformers fans.
And here we have one for Cybertron Seed Soundwave cassette mode. I dig it. Definitely worth the money to get more for Cybertron Seed Soundwave. Now let's get on to robot mode, which is very simple. Simple to transform. Flip out the feet. Flip out the other foot. Fold in these panels. Fold in the feet. Pull this out. Use your trusty tool to pull out his head. Use the device to pull out his head. This can sometimes be a royal pain in the butt. I will acknowledge that. And here we have Transformers, Ward for Cybertron, Siege, Soundwave. But he is missing his shoulder cannon blaster, so here is the Ward for Cybertron, Siege, Soundwave in his robot mode. Really good. I dig it. Now let's transform his cassettes. See what? Why I bought this set? Why I waited all this time to do this review until now? It's because I needed this set. set collection. So Of course, he can hold his little laser beak on his arm. Here's laser beak in his bird mode. In sound way, he can hold it in his hand. He can pull that G1 pose, or he's going soon laser beak soon. It's iconic to the G1 show. And now let's transform his little buddy Ravage. Ravage, which is going to be very simple. His little buddy Ravage. He's going to flip the legs off camera. So there we have his sound wave and his main minion, minions, rabbit engine, laser beak. Now this set is really coming along. Looks great. I'm not going to use his blaster on him. I have a better use for it. Now we're going to get down to comparisons, which is going to be very easy. We're going to transform Warper Cybertron, Siege Megatron, and Starscream off camera. So you very easy to transform. We're transforming Megatron, which can be a real pain in the neck to transform this guy. 
So yeah, we're almost done transforming Megatron for the comparison. I like to use this piece on Megatron to give him that more G1 aesthetic. And here we have my War for Cybertron, Siege Megatron, right next to Soundwave, the big bad leader, his, his surveillance guy, and now for Air Commander Starscream to compare Siege Soundwave next to. So I'm going to transform him off camera, hopefully he's going to be easy. going to be easier to transform. So. Pop up his head. Flip around his torso. Split the nose cone. Flip up his head. Come on, Starscream, don't give me trouble. Starscream is transforming really nicely. Flip out his toesies. Flip out his arm, his toes. Accordion his arms out. Open up his panel, flip out his hand. Same goes with the other one. Cording in it, flip out his, his hand. Now, for the piece of resistance and his null rays. And boom. There we have War for Cybertron seeds, Decepticons so far. And I'm so glad I have these in my collection. I'm happy to have Megatron, Starscream, and Soundwave. Where I got these? I got these at Amazon, each and every one of them. You could probably find them in store at Walmart, who knows? Maybe Target. Well, this is Eddie Hill. Move it on and rock on and rock out.